thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I wanted to show you this is Paulina Poinsettia, another blooming, uh, blooming flower pot paper doll. So let me print this out and fussy cut it and I'm going to show you how to assemble and decorate it. Get started and have some fun. So these kits are an instant download. When you purchase it you get a link and you uh, download the file and print it. Um, and you can uh, print it either on a laser jet printer, an ink jet printer, you can put it on a jump drive, take it and have it printed somewhere like Office Max or Staples or your local print shop. Um, I like to print these dolls on either 120 pound or 140 pound white cardstock. I'll put a link in the description box below for the type that I like the best. And you want something really nice and hard and stable like this that's really solid because they come out better and when you move and fold up all the petals, they just last longer, they stay together nicer. So that's what I recommend for cardstock. So what you wanna do first is um, get your file and then print it out. I use an inkjet printer and it always works out just absolutely fine. Um, you can always, if your inkjet printer is low on color, because this is a lot of vibrant color, um, you can always go over them too. So you can bump up the colors with colored pencil or Neocolor 2, um, Arteza brush pens, whatever you want, uh, pastels, anything you want if you need to bump up the colors, but it prints out really nicely. so. You probably won't need to do that, but if you want to change the colors or bump them up, you can always do that or add uh, little touches of um, shadows or some highlights, but I like to do those after I assemble the doll too to add those kind of little things. Okay, and so off to the side here, these have numbers. So you'll see a little number, one, two, three, four, five, six. And what I like to do for those, <clears throat> because that is going to be the order that you're going to assemble it in on top of the flower pot. So what I like to do is to cut it out. It says number one, and obviously you're going to trim that number one away. So turn it over and on the back side, put number one. I do that on all of them. That way I have them in order. When I fussy cut them out, I can flip them over and know number one is going to be on top, number two, three, four, five, and back on your brad when you assemble it. So go ahead and cut them out, number them on the back, fussy cut everything out, and then I'm going to show you some really, really fun ideas. Here are the three little uh, poinsettia plants put together, or I mean uh, cut out, and then I went around the edge around the um, petals of the flower. I used red around the leaves. I used green, and now I'm going to use some Nouveau drops. These, this is uh, dandelion yellow, and in the centers here, I'm just going to add some Nouveau drops to those little center things that are. Um, like berry looking on a poinsettia. And this will just give them some dimension and then I'll put this aside and let it dry because it takes Nouveau's a little bit of time to dry. So that's what I'm doing on the centers of those. It looks really cute to have Nouveau drops. And show you what that looks like. So they're shiny and raised and they really look like poinsettias. Set those aside and let them dry. So here's a little tip for cutting out around the top of the collar. Um, if you take your scissors, your little fine scissors, and you cut one direction, and then you kind of turn it, and you kind of nip at it in another direction, it kind of cuts out little tiny little chips instead of cutting it just straight. And then it makes it look like fur, like that. So see the difference between one side and the other, how that looks cut out and it looks choppy like fur. Then these little spots in here underneath the arms, I like to cut those out with an X-Acto knife. That's just so that the uh, flower pot and stuff that you put behind are going to show through. So you want to cut those little pieces out. Be sure you use a self-healing mat and a really sharp X-Acto blade and be careful. And then just cut them out and pop them out. And then I take a 
uh, for her shirt, I'm going to take a red brush pen and go in those spots and I go around the edges. And then for the flower pot, what you want to do is she's going to set in the flower pot like this. So I take my X-Acto knife and I just poke it in. This is just to give me an idea of how far I have to cut. You just kind of make a little, a little poke with your X-Acto and then you cut along that edge from there to there, connecting the two dots and it makes a space just the right size for slipping your girl into the pot. Just like that, because she's going to come be coming out of the pot. I have her in place. I usually just flip that over and lift it up, put a little glue underneath, or put some uh, scotch tape on the back to hold that down. So now I'm going to jazz up her uh, little cuffs around her uh, her wrists and around the top with some white flock. So I've got flock and some art glitter glue, and I'm going to use my little tidy tray here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of art glitter glue, kind of messy like, in those spots and up at the top. I'm kind of coloring with my art glitter glue little fine metal tip. Because I don't want it to be solid, solid. I want it to look really like fur. I want it to look furry. Okay, and now I'm going to just sprinkle on some white flock. My white isn't very white. It's kind of creamy, but it's all I've got. So and that's okay. I kind of like the creaminess. And then when you tap it off, look how cute that is. It looks like fur. Fur. Super cute. So I'm going to put that aside and let that dry. And this tidy trays work great because you can just take it and dump it right back into the bag. So if you want your head of your doll to move and um, be able to be movable on her neck, that's what this piece is for in the kit. So you're going to want to poke a hole where it's indicated, right in the center. And then you poke a hole in the top of the neck where it's indicated. And you put your brad through the neck. And then through that, that piece like that. Open up your brad. And flatten it out in the back. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put glue on the two end tabs, just on the ends, nowhere else. So just along this edge and this edge, you're gonna put a little bit of glue. And I love art glitter glue for these dolls because it just works really, really well. And now you put this in place and you press down where those edges are. And just kind of hold it. You can put clamps on it if you want. And then I also like to flip it over and put a little bit of scotch tape on those edges. Just to hold it down until that glue dries. Gives it just a little bit of extra grab. like that. So there's her head on her body and look what you can do with her head. It moves. I love that. That's so fun about these dolls. It just really brings them to life. Okay and now for your petals, leaves, and center. What you want to do with those, there's an indication of where to punch your hole in those as well. And so you just use your paper piercer and poke a hole in each one. And don't go too close to the edge. You want to be sure you stay back just a little bit so that it doesn't tear the paper. And you can use a self-healing mat if you'd like. I'm doing it to show you where they get punched. Punch all your little pieces. 
And then on this piece, that is the piece number one, and that is the center. And that's meant to be punched down here. I didn't mark it because you can do it wherever you want to do it. You can do it really wherever you want to do it. That's where I'm going to do mine. So now I want to put them in order. So number one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. You put them in order. And I'm going to take a green, a little green brad like this. That's a little uh, mini brad in green, but you could do them in yellow. You could do whatever you want. You could use a jeweled brad. And flip this back over and I'm going to do them in order. So just start loading them on in order onto your brad until you get them all on. Okay, so here they are all loaded onto the brad and I have not opened the back of the brad because you're going to poke a hole and I'm going to poke a hole right here just in the center and the top of the pot right there just like that. And that's where this is going to go last. So you're going to put that in and now you're going to open your brad. Okay, so now what you want to do is you're going to fold your little pieces. But before you do that, we're going to put these in place. So these are meant to go in behind. You can put them anywhere you want. They're meant to go on her hair, um, like this, behind her, around her, anywhere you want. So glue them in place any any way you want them around her head, on her head. What I like to do before I glue those into place is to twist these and turn them upright like this so you can kind of see what it's going to look like because you kind of want to um, put them where they kind of camouflage a little bit her head. You don't want to cover her up completely, but you want to do a little bit of camouflaging so that when the flower pot is closed, you don't really know that it's a girl. She can be peeking out, but like that, so that it's all hidden behind the petals. So I've glued one right here to her head, and her head still moves. Now the others, what I'm doing, I put two drops of glue and I glued it to this. I'm gluing it to the body, not to the head because I don't want these to move. I want these to be um, in the back and stable, like to stay put. So you don't want to glue them to the movable petals or to her head. You're just going to glue them to the body. So what I'm doing is just putting a little dot on the edges of a couple little petals. And I'm putting them in place like sort of behind like that. That's how they're going to go and see how they look. That looks so cute like that. So even when this is just slightly folded down, look how cute that is. It looks like she's peeking out from behind. But when this is up and you move your petals up, your leaves and your petals, you can kind of hide her like this. You move them any way you want to. That's the beauty of this when they're on a brad is you fold it up and you can't see your girl. It's a hidden paper doll. You see the flower pot and you see the poinsettia. And then when you fold it down, you're going to just take your little pieces and fold them down and make them into like a skirt any way you want. So you can put this in the middle and this over here, or move them around any way you want, whatever you think looks nicest. Maybe have this one coming out down here like that. And then it ends up looking like a skirt. So there's your poinsettia girl and your hidden flower pot when you fold her back up again. Isn't that cute? So this is Paulina poinsettia. 
I like it. It's so cute. Look at that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, just showing how to put it together, some ideas for decorating. Um, I'm going to go back, I think, and put in some Nouveau drops on the centerpiece and then maybe even do some um, colored pencil to make some more shadowing down here now that I have it put together. Just playing around with it. Maybe put some Nouveau drop pink ones on her lips, um, maybe some glossy accents for her eyes. This is your time to just play and make it your own and to have fun. So this would be so cute to tuck into a uh, Christmas junk journal, to glue down to a Christmas page in an art journal, to give as a uh, greeting card. So you could have this folded up and then they could you know, put a little directions inside the envelope that they could fold it down and make the doll. You could just write your Christmas sentiment on the back or even stamp a Christmas sentiment on the back. Um, maybe even co cover it, not the movable part, but move it, cover it with some uh, Christmas pattern paper on the back so it could be turned over and could be given as a greeting card. You could put a hanger on it and hang it up. It could hang on a Christmas tree, be adorable, adorable on a Christmas tree, on a um, paper doll tree, whatever. There's so many ways that you could use this and it's so much fun to put together and to decorate. So I hope you've enjoyed this and there'll be a link in the description box below for where you can find this instant download kit and I hope you enjoy this and that your holiday seasons coming up are blessed and full of fun. Thanks for stopping by. Go make some art because art soothes the heart. <music>